Our kids' song this morning is one of our favorite VBS songs. Well, we got kind of have a lot of favorites, don't we? Uh, but some just seem to rise to the moment. We think, you know what, that's kind of a song that we need to hear right now. Uh, a shelter in the time of the storm with some help from the Go Fish Out guys. From wherever you are, let's sing together. <laughs> Don't you find that when you're watching some of those videos, it's like some of those people look like our people. You can tell some of our people. Um, all right. Uh, good morning. Good morning. All right. Well, as we know, you know, Advent's coming, Christmas is coming up, and you know, you you want you want to have a few zingers for for those you know family Zoom calls, right? Um, that we're all used to having. Uh, I, let me just share some. Like you know, you can use this. You, you know. Okay. So and. I'm, I'm almost getting nervous about using them because Dan's just going to guess them all. He's like the joke genius um, back here. Uh, you don't like research these things before. Okay, so, okay, here's one. So why, why wouldn't the shrimp share his toys? Yeah, he was just a little bit shellfish. <laughs> so shellfish. By the record, I don't know if you can hear, like, is there a mic back there that's on? I'm not sure if people know. Dan got that one, too. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now, this one's for everyone except Dan. Uh, he's discounted. Um, <laughs> when was medicine first mentioned in the Bible? Hmm. Just joking. If you got it, Dan, you can say it. You don't know it. This is like the first one of, like, six ones you haven't got. Okay. Uh, when, when God gave Moses two tablets... Oh, all right. Okay, you need a lot of water to get those tablets down. Okay, you know, you can use them. You know, you don't have to credit me. You can just use them. Give me a soap opera. Okay, so uh, welcome to the Kids Time segment. Uh, a little bit of laughter to get us going. And we're using these to focus on our faith at home focus for the week. And I'm going to ask Kim and Aaron to put up their reminder about our trajectory. Here's how it works. It's always connected to the pastor's teaching, right? It follows along. Sunday one, memorization. Sunday two, prayer focus. Sunday three, Last week, Bible focus, 
Sunday for service focus. So that's where we are. And actually, occasionally there is a fifth Sunday, and there's going to be a family activity. Uh, so we're going to do that next week. But usually there's four Sundays in a month. And so our service focus this week is brought to us by one of our Sunday school teachers, uh, Julie Curry. And it's so great, and she has Charlotte helping her, and she's put together an idea that is really great. Take it away, Julie. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Julie and I am one of the Sunday School teachers here at Westminster. Our Faith at Home focus this week is service. Uh, this idea that we have is more of a positive gesture that you can put out to the community. One thing that really hits home right now is that everyone is having different experiences and is going through different things when it comes to the pandemic. Um, in talking to others, I've heard a lot of people say how isolated or lonely that they feel. Right now, people might not be going out to see family and friends as much as they used to and might be staying at home a lot more. And after a while, you can feel a bit isolated or lonely. One idea to help others with this is to write a positive message or draw a nice picture and mail it to someone who needs it or leave it on the doorstep of a neighbor or even bring it to your friend in your class. Charlotte has an example here. <laughs> you could even quote a positive Bible verse like, Be still and know that I am with you, Psalm 46, verse 10. Or, God is light, in him there is no darkness at all, 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. So for example, the last little while we have not been able to see some of our family members. So Charlotte decided to start writing her letters to her grandmother. And they have become um, pen pals, which means That's that... Right. Once her grandmother gets a letter, she will write back and Charlotte will write back and so on. Yeah. I have heard from her grandmother how much this means to her and makes her day when she reads them. Um, another idea could be to make a poster or a sign for some of our neighbors who can't leave home or even the residents in our long-term term care homes and draw a nice picture or write a nice positive message. For those who are not able to leave their homes, imagine how they would feel if they saw a nice sign or picture taped to their window, window or outside their house. I think that this type of gesture is an easy one for us to do and can mean so much to those who receive them. We're really excited about this idea and hopefully you can find some time to do something similar to this. Take care, everyone. Take care. <laughs> All right, that was so great. Thank you so much, Julie. I think that is so great. Positive messages in a way that really tangibly makes a difference in people's lives. And thank you, Charlotte, also for uh, helping out. Uh, I love the, the color and the excitement that you bring to it. So, so wonderful. I just encourage you to do that. You know, and I think as the pandemic wears on, uh, as there's the challenges of, of, you know, we're hearing about case numbers and everything else that's challenging, uh, we can't neglect the fact that these things that we do to build each other up is so, so very vital uh, to our well-being and just to encourage us. So we've said that all these things are simple but meaningful. They are adaptable. Uh, don't think curriculum, think lifestyle. Now, uh, in terms of that, it's also going to be connected to the theme for the day. So I'm going to be preaching about James 5 very shortly. And one of the things that James tells his people as they try to persevere through suffering is to uh, not grumble against one another. Because it's really easy to grumble against one another, even if those are the people in your support team or the people you care about, uh, if we're going to persevere, right? And you think about that, it's because also the, the opposite is true. So we should be using our words in a positive way to build up and encourage the people around us who are often our very support system. Our support system, these are our brothers and sisters in the faith, our family, our friends at school, coworkers, whoever they happen to be. We want to build these people up, right? Because this is going to help all of us persevere. So I encourage you to do that this week. I think you can do it. I think it'll be a great positive impact. I also want to give you one announcement from our Sunday School coordinator, Laura Rattan. She wanted me to pass along on this Sunday, because it has to do with service, uh, what's happened with the uh, collections So for the Sunday School. So you know, uh, usually when things are normal, you know, kids would go downstairs to Sunday school and they'd have their own collection as well, a financial offering. And then they, you know, decide and talk about wh where do we, what are we going to do this for? Well, she wanted me to let everyone know uh, that $350 from the Sunday, school the Sunday school collection, the offerings are going to go to Youth Haven. So that is great. And that's before COVID started. 
they had already collected that much money in the, in the different classes uh, as a part of the Sunday school. So I just want to say to all of our young people, great job, congratulations, it's a great cause. You're going to help uh, young people, individuals who are struggling and who need some extra help right at a really important time of year. So that's a great way that you've shown your love uh, of God for others as well during this difficult time. $350 just from those first couple months of the year for Youth Haven. So, having said that, let's have a repeat after me prayer together, and then Jen's going to lead us in a beautiful song uh, that's going to take us towards today's message. So, repeat after me. Uh, Dear Heavenly Father, Father, your love for us is so powerful. powerful. Help us to appreciate that love, love. and then to share that love love. with all the people around us. Even when we are tired, even when we are uncertain, every day of our life. In Jesus' loving name we pray. Amen.